Okay, folks, so we're over here on eTrailer.com, and what I'm going to do for you folks is I'll take that URL up at the top, and I'm going to copy that URL and put it directly in the description of this video so you can land on this page yourself. And what I want you to do is down here, I want you to take a look at this diagram that eTrailer has provided for us. And so I want to do a, a, a snip of this so I can draw on it and mark it up. But but this is what I was saying. Each other does a really great job of educating their customers. And um, you got, uh, who's that? Jameson C is the one that answered this question and provided this, this little image for us. So let's transition into a program that I can actually draw and mark up on. So I've basically taken that image and just kind of made it a little bit larger and I brought it into a program that I can kind of mark up. And what I want to draw your attention to is the standards, uh, or we call them standards, but here we have the, the seven-way traditional standard, here we have the seven-way RV standard, and over here we even have a seven-way heavy-duty standard. They all have seven pins on them, and um, let's just ignore the, the agricultural heavy-duty for right now, and let's just focus on what's, what's going on with this RV and the tr traditional. Unfortunately, when they came out with these two standards, they did not consult with me, they did not consult with you, and these two standards kind of developed on their own without respect to each other. And uh, so you've heard me say in several of my videos, even I just said it just a few minutes ago, that the circuits stay the same on the pins, but the colors of the wires change. And you've also heard me say, don't judge a wire by the color of its jacket and don't judge a person by the color of their skin. you got to know the character of the person. you got to know the what's going on inside of that wire. So let's just take a look here between these two standards. What's going on? Okay, so here we have, I could go the top or bottom, but this is more clear. So I'm just going to toggle between this upper left one and the one in the middle on the top, okay? So we're going to go through this really quick, and I think within 10 seconds you're going to see what, it, what I'm talking about. But let's just let's just plant ourselves here for a second because there's a few more things I want to share with you. Here on the upper left, I have 12-volt power. That's a black wire. Here on the left, I have 12-volt power. That's a black wire. Here on the right, I have tail and running lights. That's a brown wire. Here on the right, I have tail and running lights. That's a green wire. Uh-oh. Brown wire, green wire. They're both tail and running, tail and running. Okay. Over here on the left most pin it is a right turn and stop over on this left it is a right turn and stop and they are both well one is a green and one is a brown wait a minute i thought these greens see how these greens and browns just changed greens and browns well let's keep on going here because we've got uh, reverse lights here is a purple reverse lights is the yellow and then we have left turn lights on the right pin is a left turn that's a yellow here we have the left turn is a green uh, is a red okay and then ground is white and then break is blue <clears throat> so a couple years ago i came out with a video showing you the trick on how to remember these things so you have you know uh, ground and marker those are up high up top and then you have the left turn the right turn and then you have break and ground and so that's pretty much the same across but the colors change and i think you see that so this is what would happen people would come in and they're going to wire their rv with this standard and they go to turn on their left blinker and the, the tail and running lights would start blinking and uh, then i knew oh that's what it is but they don't stop there. A lot of times they would just make a big mess um, and then they'd put their reverse lights on or their left turn lights or reverse lights were coming on. This, it's just madness. But if you, if you look at this, it's like, oh, I understand. So I never want to make any assumptions. And so when I come across these kinds of problems, you know what? It's a whole lot easier. Let's see if I can draw this for you. It's a whole lot easier. I just cut that wire right there. I just cut it and I take my meter and I need to put my red lead on the black wire, and I'm going to put my, my black lead on the ground wire, and I'm going to put my meter in 12 volts DC, and I expect to see 12 volts right there on my meter. If I see 12 volts on there, again, I've got seven wires to figure out. I've just solved the riddle of two of those wires. I know my ground is good, and I know my 12 volts is good. Okay, So that's the first test that I'm going to perform, and then I'm going to label these wires, and I know that this wire is in fact ground and i know that this wire is in fact i said ground i'm going to know that this wire is in fact 12 volts and this wire is in fact ground so i'm good there well now that i know that i have a known good 12 volts i'm going to take this green wire and i'm just going to touch it to the black wire 
and I like to use those WAGO connectors. You could put your wires in there and snap them together. And then I'm going to walk around that RV and I'm going to find out if when I energize my green wire, are my tail lights going to turn on or is my right turn and stop going to turn on? And knowing that right there, I have just figured out, ah, how this thing's wired. But once I figure out what my green wire is, I need to label that wire. It's important that I label that wire. So I'm going to disconnect that wire and I'm going to slide a little label on it or something just to let me know what I'm dealing with there. And then I will take my black wire and I'm going to run down to the red in this instance and I'm going to walk around the RV. Oh, OK, that's the left turn. We don't have a red over here. They do over here. We'll talk about him in just a second. And so then I basically connected the red wire to 12 volts constant and I'm just going to walk around until I see a light that's steady burning. And um, so now I got a light that's steady burning. Aha. Uh -huh, now I know I'm good to go. I've just identified another wire. I'm solving a puzzle here and then I will take my um, 12 volts and I'm going to connect it to what is this right and turn okay and basically I'm going to take my brown connect it to black find out what's going on over here and I'm going to find out okay that's right turn I think you guys see I don't know that I need to spend much more time explaining how I do this I think I'm going to have to do the same thing when I get on poppy you're going to see me do it I'll also check my reverse lights and I will check my uh, electric brake and make sure that my electric brake's working. So once I've done that and I've labeled my wires, now I am ready to actually affect a repair, okay? I now know that there's things that I can do to make that repair work. Uh, just for fun, we talked about two different standards here and let's just take a look over here because you guys may come across this on um, agricultural trailers, you know, uh, tractor trailer trucks, things like that. I don't work on those too much, but let's just take a second. On our seven way that we're familiar with here in the RV industry or the cargo trailer industry, ground is on the bottom. Look, their ground is up on the top. So that's different. They've got clearance and side markers. We don't have clearance and side markers over here at all. Um, we do have running and tail lights. And then we here we have tail and running lights. So their color is gonna be brown for that. And so they're gonna borrow that from the traditional side, okay? They have an auxiliary ABS power, which is blue. We don't have that, our blue is brake. They're gonna have a, a right turn. They're gonna use green for their right turn and hazard. Here we're gonna have right turn and stop for green. So again, they're using the traditional for that. Um, then they have a left turn and hazard. Here we have a left turn and stop. So, whoa, where's our stoplights come from? Their stoplights are gonna be a red wire down here. So they don't have a brake controller. We don't have an auxiliary ABS. And um, our stoplights and left turn and right turn are all integrated. They have a separate stop circuit. So just understand that there are three different um, standards here, but we can't assume that the wire coloring is, is gonna be what the circuit is. I think you'll get in trouble and that's why they would always come to my bay. Um, now that we've seen that there's two different standards, that's what I wanted to share with you. So if this was helpful, give us a thumb up. We enjoy you guys watching our content and hopefully this is one more way that we can get that information to you as you're working on your RVs and enjoying our videos. Uh, this is Darren signing off until the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.